Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will show you how to patch fixtures to your show and also give you an overview of the fixture window. The first thing we need to do is open the fixture window and this can be done in one of two ways. You can press setup followed by the patch soft key or hold down the open key and press fixture. Before we can patch our fixtures first of all we need to add them to our show and this is done by pressing fixture schedule. Here we will find a list of fixtures categorised by manufacturer. We're going to add some high-end fixtures. Scroll down to high-end and click expand. We shall add five solar spot LED and this is done by clicking on or touching solar spot on the screen, pressing five and then enter. We will also add five track spot bolts. When done, apply the changes and close the screen. Before we go ahead and patch our fixtures, now is a good time to give them their own unique user number. Currently the two types of fixtures share the same user numbers, 1 to 5, and this conflict is shown by them being marked with an asterisk. At the moment, if we wanted to select solar spot number 1 or track spot bolt number 1, we would have to use the fixture key to toggle between the two types, which becomes time consuming. Therefore, we are going to give the track spot bolts their own unique numbers and we're going to make them 11 through 15. We can either do this one fixture at a time or as a group. Either click in the first cell and drag down to the last fixture to be renumbered or just click in the top of the column if we want to select all the fixtures of that type. Press the set key, type the first number in our new range which in this case is 11 followed by enter and you can see that the console has automatically renumbered all five fixtures. Now that every fixture has its own unique number, there's no need to toggle between the fixture types using the fixture key. We're now going to go ahead and patch solar spot number one. We're going to patch it to DP number one on universe one and its address is one. Select solar spot number one, press the at key and this opens the fixture patch window. Here we can see that DP number 1 and Universe 1 are already selected, so we only need to type the address, which is 1, and press Enter. This row now displays the patch location for that fixture. Fixtures can also be patched sequentially, so we're going to select 2 through 5 on the keypad, followed by the AT key, and look for the next available address on Universe 1, which is 29. Type 29, followed by Enter, and we can see the console has sequentially patched these fixtures. Fixtures can be patched to any location using only the keypad and I will demonstrate this with the trackspot bolts. Let's patch them to DP number 2, universe 3 and a starting address of 201. Select 11 through 15, press the at key followed by 2 slash 3 slash 201, enter. Now that the fixtures have been patched, there are various options that can be changed such as applying a proportional patch to the intensity. Either double click in a cell and type the value followed by enter or touch the cell and press the set key. Options such as tilt invert can be changed in the same way by either double clicking in the cell or touching the cell and pressing set to toggle between the two options. There is another way of viewing the patch and that is view by DP. Here we can see exactly what is patched on each universe. For example, I can see that the next free address on universe 1 is 141. And if I change the view to DP number 2, I can see that there are 200 DMX channels available at the start of universe 3. Here there is also the option to clone an entire universe, which would copy the patch from the selected universe onto any other universe. We can also unpatch an entire universe and do the same for DPs, so we could copy all the patch information from 16 universes onto another DP, or choose to unpatch an entire DP. To return to the previous view, press View by DP again. The Auto Palettes option tells the console to generate palettes of all kinds for us automatically. To take colour, for example, the console would generate palettes for all the slotted colours within the fixtures added to your show. To make these palettes, click Generate, followed by OK. In the same way, the console will also generate user kinds, and these will be covered in a future tutorial. 
We can use replicate fixtures to clone an entire fixture along with all of its associated programming, leaving us with a new fixture with its own unique number. To replicate number 15, for example, type 15 on the keypad and press replicate fixtures, and this has created an exact copy of number 15, which can now be patched. We can also use remove to take away that fixture. Type 16, followed by remove, and this will give us the option to confirm, as we are about to delete all of the existing programming for that fixture. Click OK to proceed. There is also the option to change the type of fixture. For example, all of our programming currently exists for the Trackspot Bolt, but if we wanted to change that for the standard Trackspot, we would select 11 through 15, followed by Enter. Then press Change Type and confirm that it's OK to unpatch the fixtures. We can either scroll down or use the search facility to find the Trackspot. Select the correct type, press OK to confirm, and the console has adapted all of the programming using real-world values so that it will now work with the Trackspot as opposed to the Trackspot Bolt. All that is left to do is patch the new fixtures. Using the Fixture Builder, it is possible to create your own fixture profiles. This is quite a detailed topic and there is far more information available in the HOG4 manual on your console. There is also a tutorial there which you can follow to create your own fixture. In the next tutorial, we will be using these fixtures to look at basic programming and the recording of cues. Thank you for watching.